Rowan Garden depends on you getting online every five minutes and buying everything in stock. But what if I told you there was a way to do that without touching a single thing? You could get literally prismatics overnight and not just seeds. You could get gears and even eggs completely AFK in Grow a Garden. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can AFK in Grow a Garden for insane amounts of the best stuff in the game without doing anything basically. And it's how I've gotten an insane amount of sugar apples, ember lilies, and bean stocks too. So this is going to be a tutorial for both Windows and Android. But basically, with this method, you will be able to literally go to this seed shop, buy all the seeds or specific ones. You could go literally to the gear shop buy everything and the egg shop and buy everything but anyway this video will be in two sections one for android and one for windows but you should watch both because then you will know exactly what to do 100 billion percent and don't skip ahead and i actually have a thing to entice you to watch the entire video you have to if you want the macro to full potential and get the best stuff at each part of the video i'm going to be opening each tier of summer egg common rare and even the paradise egg at the very end so what's the whole thing to see what i get and also before i get to the windows version which we'll be doing first i want to ask you guys please subscribe because well grow guard is quite a new game i've been making even though i'm already at this level of garden and because of that youtube doesn't know that i make grow garden content or i exist and to fix that please subscribe comment and like now to help me grow this journey and make more guides for you guys to get better at the game with please but anyway let's get on to doing this and to start up the windows guide i'm going to open the common egg let's do this guys what will i get don't look at my bottom bar here i got a crab and i think this could be good not so sure i'll equip all of these eggs at the end of the video and tell you guys what they do but on windows you're going to need a piece of software called tiny task when you'll enter tiny task only get it from tinytask.net so you don't get any weird viruses and to start out on the home menu, you want to go to download. And right here, I use the 1.77 version. The width editor looks different. And honestly, I'm not bothered to use it. You just press download right here. And I'm pretty sure it's only for Windows. That's why it's a Windows guide. But after you've downloaded it, you go with your downloads up here. Or just enter your downloads folder. And what you're going to want to do is just open tiny task right here. But for the purpose of the video, I already have it open. So there are a couple of options. You have the open, where you can open a macro ready made. A save, where you can save your macro so you don't have to record it a record which lets you basically record everything that you do on your screen that's basically what makes sure that you uh, make the tiny task play to play it back exe to make it to an exe but you don't need that and preferences here you can set your play speed i recommend setting it at one to have no issues a custom speed continuous playback which you want if you want an afk a recording hockey and a playback hockey and what you're gonna want to do if you are recording you want to set your playback to this weird abomination so and set your recording to f8 because F12 creates a Roblox recording. Print screen creates a screenshot. I don't want 5 billion of those. And this is just an abomination. Now you can set it to be always on top, which we don't need. Here it's just random stuff. But first step, because this macro will literally let you automatically reconnect if you get disconnected, you want to rejoin because we want to use a default camera angle that well it will make the movements a lot more definite. And let's just skip loading here. And there we go. We're now at the default camera angle. So you want to set your recording to F8. Definitely. Hundred billion percent and what you want to do is start the recording by pressing f8 and you're going to want to kind of click down the slight right of your screen where the reconnect button would usually appear now i'm going to be doing this slower for the purpose of recording and if you don't know where that is you want to disable your wi-fi and see where it is and you want to click on seeds you want to just press e a couple of times just to be sure and then click on carrot you don't need to want to buy this if you don't want to buy anything don't click on the buy button when doing this but you basically keep on clicking down if you want the avocado you just press buy a couple of times and you want to go to the next one always click down you want the pineapple click on that a couple of times kiwi click on that a couple of times if you don't want to buy anything don't click on it but most of the time you're going to want to buy everything if you have a lot of money which most of us have and there we go we've gone to the bottom where the sugar apple is now with every update there's going to be more of these so you want to slowly but surely drag this up because tiny task just doesn't scroll for some reason but when you get to the top you want to press x and now you could obviously just make it do this all the time then you just press garden but we want to go to the gear shop so what we want to do 
is just press backspace a couple of times, press A, backspace a couple of times in case it does any weird stuff. And then type in recall wrench. We will have to get a lot of the recall wrenches that you use it. Then you just press E a couple of times and then click on show me the gear shop. And there we go. We basically just do the same thing. We want watering cans, so we click on it. We don't want trowels. It's really your opinion. And we probably want to buy recall wrenches just so we have them. And that doesn't exist, but we want it. And basically, we just want to keep on doing this. And then we put this bar up to the very top and then press X. Now, the next step, this is why you need that camera angle. You just move right. You buy this egg. And you also click around the X in case it's out of stock so it leaves the UI. And then you just do this again. And now you go to garden, press F8, stop the recording and that's it. You've now recorded a complete AFK loop. And now the next step what you do is to just make recording hotkey this abomination and set playback to F8. Now I recommend that you save it but save it once you've looped it at least once. So set continuous playback to tick and just press F8 and this is going to be a little bit slow that is because I was literally explaining to you guys what I was doing at the exact time I was recording this but it's gonna do everything that I just did maybe slightly inaccurately there's a chance a couple of loops that might not make it to every egg but you're going to be doing this so many times it doesn't matter and this could use a lot of recall wrenches so it might be a good idea to just do the same thing like four times on the fifth run use the recall wrench and just save that instead and as you can see it basically automatically buys only the stuff that i want it to like this avocado and another thing a final note for this before we get onto the android version of the rare egg sometimes as the game adds new stuff in new updates you're going to want to fully re-record the macro so re-watch the video if you don't remember and sometimes there's a chance that this bar down here might become way too small and if that happens you're going to just have to manually move the scroll thing on the side down like i'm doing here so you can click on the next thing kind of like before the summer update where there are like three prismatics but as you can see it's doing the thing and now i type in the recall wrench and this is why you have to press x because there's a chance that it might just do some goofy stuff so there we go and another final note this will not fully work out for you every time so practice makes perfect maybe just loop the video or something just so that you know everything what to do you might have to do this multiple times so it fails a loop but for now this is going by pretty well you might want to try maybe do this faster every time or maybe make it wait like four minutes per loop where you just leave your mouse so you don't buy too much of everything and now we're already back at the eggs it might go a little bit far so i do have another piece of advice for you and i'll show you it in a second but as you can see it literally just bought everything and now it's just looping back but let's use another recall wrench and the thing is sometimes it might accidentally hit refresh it. eggs so if you don't want to accidentally use up all of your robux remember to also click at the very end of this loop cancel multiple times so you don't just spam refresh the eggs of all of your robux just spam that at the end of this loop please i beg you guys i don't want to be liable for anything but that's pretty much it with tiny tasks remember to save it once you're done with it and now let's go to our egg opening area and pop our rare summer egg before we get onto android let's see what do we get i'm not looking down at my hotbar let's see and we got a seal i'm not sure how good it is let's check kind of rare but we'll see at the end of the video so we're going to be using a different account for this different software it might be a little bit longer to do this one but it's definitely doable we are on android and basically what you want to do is go to the google play store and just search auto clicker right up here and basically what we want to do is go to this exact auto clicker right here it has the i don't know yellow hand and the touch screen with a circle on it you want to go to this exact thing and just install it and basically what we do is just press open when you first open this it appears with some weird i don't know Bruh. subscription service or something just ignore it i'm pretty sure when it said that there's going to be ads that never actually plays them but we have the accessibility api which we're going to have to just go press ok we're going to go this is on samsung by the way it might be a little bit different on your device but install the apps then you want to go to auto clicker make sure that's on and when it is you just back out and now you've basically got it to work so the next step is that we want to enable multi-target mode right here it helps you literally do everything that you can do on tiny tasks just takes a little bit longer but press enable i have a couple of configurations here let's just make a new one and we have this thing now i will show you guys by loading it to grow garden what we have to do next all right guys so this will be a little bit shorter than the one that i'll be showcasing for you guys on windows because this is just the same thing that we're doing before but i have to show it here but there's a little bit less capability on android than on windows which is why i recommend you watch the windows version anyway see if 
you want to do absolutely everything but we're here and the next step that we want to do is just press a plus now before you do this if you want auto reconnect i do recommend that you turn off your wi-fi to do this first now what this will do is that it'll disconnect you from game you could also do this on windows and your mobile data if you have that and now you want to press just plus and you want to put it where the reconnect button usually is turn everything back on reconnect and don't move this point or any of the other points and the next step is you can customize delays on this if you really want to you could set them to like 100 but i'm pretty sure each point you press is different so that's a bit of a waste and now after you have the auto reconnect fully set up you want to just press plus to add another point and press it right where seeds is now you just press seeds yourself then you add another point right here where the tom talk thing is and now you just press that and another thing here we do not want to modify the duration if you click on them for this part just to not make it too messy here's add a plus onto the first item you scroll how we did on windows basically and we just click on this right now but we want to add a definitely about one second delay because it takes a while to talk to tom we don't want to accidentally start clicking too quickly so you just press that then if we don't want to buy it we just press for the next one if you want to buy it you just place it here where the buy button is all of these points will be played in order so it kind of makes sense but anyway when you've pressed your point to go next you also have to go next and if you want to go next again you just keep on spamming and clicking as you do so And if you want to buy green apple for example you just press it again then it will refresh your points if you add more than 12 so just keep that in mind it actually makes it a little bit cleaner but from now on if you just want to buy everything just follow what i'm doing Now you might want to hide your inventory but that could mess with the auto reconnect stuff but finally we've got on to final things here and now now that you've gone to the very bottom remember to do this multiple times to be fully sure practice makes perfect we want to press these things now we want to place these on the side so they don't interfere with anything but we want to place at least on my device which is a 6.1 inch display you could search up your phone or tablet we want to add eight of these in total for me at least you scroll from the bottom to the very top it is the orange arrow and what this does is just scroll up now that we're done that we just scroll up ourselves exit the shop go back to garden and we play back now there is no guarantee it's gonna work for you first time here it might tweak a small bit and maybe press the blueberry seed thing which is why you should probably hide your inventory then to play back you simply just scroll up press x which you should do at the end i almost forgot that and now you finally just get to playing it all back and it's basically doing exactly what i did you might want to set the delays a little bit different here but you're now at the bottom you should have basically bought everything you wanted and now it should just press x for you and it just keeps on looping this it's basically just like the time task version just a little bit less if you want to be a little bit simpler you could make it so that you only buy like one thing or you literally just press one point and click on one thing continuously probably the most safe thing and now finally that you're done with that you want to press one more button this settings icon and you should definitely have it run it definitely and you just press save and what this does is that it makes sure that it fully remembers this and if you want to go past all the steps you just press all these buttons down here to just scroll past it all and that's basically it for android we now have a way to fully macro of both windows and android this is actually crazy guys so let's go over and become this guy instead and there we go if you watched until the end of the video you should now know how to literally buy everything on pc and on android potential and yeah as a reward for you guys watching until the end i will now hatch my paradise egg this cost me 50 million hopefully gets me something good let's just get something good please oh my god i got this thing again yup I'm pretty sure it's like 15%, but let's see what the crab and the seal do. But if you guys didn't watch the last video, the peacock basically is just a worse B where it makes the abilities happen faster, but it's only in a certain area. Let's pick up our wasp, place our crab. I wish I was able to call my pets here. This is a little bit annoying. All right, finally, guys. So every six minutes, this guy goes to a random player and just 
pinches at them for money and gets me like 300 to 500 money. So basically, this is Mr. Krabs putting grow a card in, but he didn't make the money himself. And of course, it doesn't actually steal, it just duplicates, I guess. So it's kind of like a money glitch. But anyway, now that we have this crab, I have to find him and decommission him to look at our seal. All right, now let's place this thing. I'm pretty sure it's spawned at like the front. Oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. View. And each time you sell a pet with the seal, you have a 2.3% chance to get the pet back, but it gets turned back into an egg, which, huh? hmm, that's interesting. But in the end, that's literally all for the video. We've hatched all three tiers of summer eggs. I have also shown you guys how to macro and basically AFK by any seed in the game, any gear in the game, and any egg in the game. Completely AFK on PC and also on mobile, which is pretty crazy. So please like and subscribe if you guys want more guys and if you want to watch till the next video because I might just plant two or three bug eggs to open in the next video, which will be pretty crazy. If I get lucky, we'll get a second dragonfly. And well, goodbye.